let's take a deeper look into the settings you'll encounter when creating a new stack. So if I go to add stack, we can see here we can specify a provider. Now this provider could be GitLab, GitHub, Bitbucket, whichever provider you choose. In this case, I'm going to choose GitHub. Now in the repository here, I'll choose one of the repositories. These are all automatically populated, any of the repositories that Spacelift has access to. So I'll choose AWS EC2 in this instance. Then I'll need to choose a branch. This is the tracked branch, the branch that is going to actually cause an apply of your infrastructure. In this case, I'll choose main. And then I can also choose a project root if I'd like. So if I have a mono repo or several directories within this repository, that can be specified here. I'll click continue. I can then choose a backend. Now, as you can see, we have Terraform, Pulumi, CloudFormation, and Kubernetes at this moment. Now, if I choose Terraform, I can choose a version or even a range of versions if I would like. I can choose to manage the state, which you'll probably want to do unless you have your state stored externally and don't wish to import it. If you do wish to import it, you can import it right here. You'll just need to export your state file and upload it here. Now, if I choose Pulumi, you'll see you have a few different options here, the login URL and the stack name. But I'll go back to Terraform and click Continue. And then here we can define some behaviors. So we can choose whether this is an administrative stack, which means that this stack is capable of deploying Spacelift resources. So if you want to deploy other stacks or contexts or policies, this would need to be chosen. Now within the advanced options, you can choose whether this stack is capable of auto-deploying or if it requires some sort of intervention before it will deploy resources. You can choose to auto-retry on fail. You can choose to protect it from deletion, which will require this to be disabled before you can delete it. You can use local preview, and this allows you to view stack output from within the CLI using the space CTL command line utility. This is to allow run promotion. Disallowing run promotion means that there will be no option to promote an untracked run to a tracked run. So you may want to do that if your policy requires it. You can then specify a custom runner image with your own specific tooling installed if you need to. And then here is where you can customize your workflow. Each phase can have different commands that run. So in case during the initialization phase, you need to run a ls command to see directory contents or some other Terraform utility, you can. And then you can also do the same during each subsequent phase. Now do keep in mind if something does stop the progression of a phase, such as a manual intervention requirement or a confirmation step, then anything that was set in a previous phase will not be carried over as a new container will be spun up. So just keep that in mind. We'll then click continue. And here you can name your stack, just like so. You can add labels and you can add a description. And once you've done that, save your stack and that's everything.